I record my audio for each video as a single file. After placing it into Studio, I need to split it and move it so my intro video can be added. That'll also affect the placement of markers, graphics, and titles later, as well as timing text and transitions. Okay, I'm showing this in a split screen mode with my script to the left of me here. Normally, I work on two to three monitors, and I would have the script open where I can read it. I'm going to read the script as I'm listening to the audio. As I'm listening to the audio, I'm initially going to put markers, usually at the beginning of each paragraph. Right now, I'm doing the intro, and what I want to do is I want to split the audio and then I want to be able to move it so that I can drop my intro outro video in and line it up. So it's critical that I get it split in the right place. I know what my paragraph sounds like where it ends. And I think that's probably somewhere around right here. It's kind of a long paragraph. So let me listen to this and I'll play through. In this video, we'll examine the translation, its accuracy, usability, and relationship to modern translations. Okay, so that's where I want to break that track. I'm going to press the M key on the keyboard to put a marker in. Then I'm going to use the razor blade tool to split this. Now I'm going to pull this out of the way, but another note here is sometimes the entire track will remain selected. So you want to make sure that only the track that you need is selected. So I'm just going to pull this out of the way. And now I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting my intro outro track. Now I want to go back precisely to that marker. So I'm going to use the less than key on the keyboard to navigate backwards to that. And then the greater than key will be the one that will navigate forward. And I'll go over that again here. But I want to find my intro. My playhead is at the insertion point. I'm going to drop it in. Now I'm going to play through here. I'm going to stop it right there. And I'm going to hit the M key to put in a marker. And then I'm going to select the audio. And I'm going to pull the audio back. So now I'm in alignment with that. This is exactly where I want it. So now that I've got that in there, I'm going to jump out of the split screen view and go ahead and put in the graphic and the title because I won't need the script for that. After splitting and positioning my audio and introductory video on the timeline, I can place the opening graphics and title and set their timing.